Today we are going to be starting drawing a Rousseau-inspired animal. Last week you drew seven different animals and different flowers and you decided which one you wanted to do for your final artwork. While you're deciding, you want to think about which one is your best drawing, which one you think you would like to do for your final artwork. I think I am going to do the monkey. So I'm going to use my sketch to draw my monkey and I'm also going to use the inspiration sheets that you have at your table and I'm going to look at the monkey. Now I am going to use this and draw this exact monkey, but you, if you have an, an idea of an animal, you want to do the snake a few more times around, or you want to do something a little bit differently, a little position differently than the giraffe or the jaguar, you can do that. But I think it's a good way just to start with this. Now before we begin, I am going to write my name on the back. So please write your name on the back. And for my artwork, I'm going to have it the portrait way, but depending on what you are choosing for your animal, you will do the portrait way or the landscape way. I'm going to start with a branch at the top. And then I'm going to remember how I drew this last week and the steps that I need to take. I'm going to draw it lightly at first so then I can erase if I make a mistake. Taking my time. Now again, you may doing a, may be doing a monkey or doing a different animal, so you will have to try your best by remembering and looking at your sketch. Now when you're drawing it this time, really important you want it to be nice and big. Taking up lots of space. You can see my tiger here, for example, is taking up a ton of space. We do want to leave a little room for leaves, but for the most part it's taking up a lot of space. Same with, same with my jaguar. The face of my jaguar is taking up a lot of space with some room for the jungle. Now I am going a little bit faster than I'd like for the sake of this demonstration. So make sure that you are really taking your time and going nice and slow, getting in the best drawing that you can. Once you have your animal and you are happy with your animal, then we are going to go in and we are going to draw different plants. And on the back of the animal inspiration sheet, there's also different plants and different flowers. You want to make these nice and big. So I'm going to start in the corner. I definitely want something here. I think I'll start with a big leaf. Nice and big. And then maybe I'll have one coming from behind and add some detail. I think I'll have maybe a vine hanging down. want something in this space. We don't really want any empty space. You really want to fill up your entire background. Surrounding your animal. I think I'll put one of these kind of big flower I 
We are going to want to add lots of color. I think I'll have a flower here. So go ahead and take a little time and add different plants in the background. Once you have finished drawing, then you are ready to start coloring. And for this boutique, we are going to be using crayons. And you can use lots of different colors. The more colors, the better. You will be coloring your animal as realistic as you can. So I'm going to be using two different shades of brown. Maybe a dark brown and a light brown. And then you, are, you can choose any color you want for the background and different greens and lots of turquoise and oranges and reds, lots of different colors for the plants. Now when you're coloring for the batik, you have to press hard. So if I'm starting with the monkey, I can't just color like this. That's not going to work when we go in with paint. So what you have to do is you really have to press hard. The harder you press, the better. Now I don't want you to press so hard that you break the crayons. And if you do accidentally, that is okay. But I don't want you to try and break the grands. But make sure you are pressing nice and hard so you can't see any white. Okay, I'm going in there, filling so you can't see any white. You are going to do this until your entire artwork is full and you cannot see any white. Notice how I pressed really nice and hard. I have a variety of colors. I do have a purple leaf, that's okay. I have my flower, orange flower. As many colors as you can is better. And I did choose pink for my background, but you could do blue, you could do green, I want to choose a color for my background that will stand out against my animal. I probably wouldn't do an orange background because then my tiger would just blend in. So go ahead and start coloring your animal. Once you have started color, or once you have finished coloring your animal, you are ready to outline it with a black crayon. So you are going to just take your black crayon and you are going to go over your original pencil lines so that your animal stands out. the inside line of my monkey as well. So you're going to do your animal and then you're also going to do the plants. So once I've done my animal, I will do the tree and I will also do the plants. And you will outline it until everything is outlined. You can see my flower, my tiger has been outlined, and now I am ready to make it a batik. You can see that here, this is a finished batik. You can see the difference in the two in that this one is smooth and this one is very wrinkly, and in the wrinkly there is black. So that's what we're going to do next. Now the first thing we're going to do, which seems a little strange, is we are going to wrinkle it up. But as we're wrinkling it up and folding it up, we want to be careful as we don't want to rip it. We just want to get wrinkles. So I would start by folding it, unfolding it, folding it a different way, again being careful. But the more wrinkles you have, the better. Open it up, wrinkle it again.
wrinkle it in many different ways. This will take a couple minutes. If you do accidentally tear a little bit, that's okay. Wrinkling, wrinkling. Open it up, and it looks like there's lots of wrinkles. So maybe do a little bit more here. And now I'm ready for the last step, which is the painting. You will get a paintbrush, and then you're going to get watered down black tempera paint. Now this also may seem strange, but you're going to take that paint and you are just going to paint right over everything you just did. Now the reason we did the crayon is because the paint will not go into the crayon. The crayon resists the paint. So you will paint the whole thing so you can't see it. And then we will rinse it underneath the sink, wash all the black paint off, and the black paint will get into those cracks. So you want to make sure you're painting the entire thing black. Getting in all those cracks. And again, once we rinse in the sink, we'll rinse the black off, and you will have the black just inside those cracks. Then you are done with your boutique part of this animal project.